Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm doing tonight a what's for dinner. Tonight, what's for dinner is chili. I'm making chili on the stove top. All right, so let's get started, guys. Let's bring you over here. Now, I happen to like a little spicy chili, but my family are pain in the booties. They don't like it. So we're not going to put really any really spice in here. But we'll, well, we're going to put the chili, you know, all the chili stuff, but not like spicy, spicy stuff. You can add that to your own bowl. Okay, so what I have is I like to put chopped onions and chopped peppers in mine. Okay. I'm going to use um, a little bit of minced garlic because I just realized I forgot. Let me get my wooden spoon. I forgot to cut up the garlic. So I'll use the mince garlic. Again, my wooden spoon is missing. Where did it go? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in. I don't know. Maybe like like a tea tablespoon of garlic. One thing I like about the mince garlic guys is that it has the olive oil in it. This one, I buy the one with the oil in it, in oil. I like that because sometimes that really adds that a lot of time, you know, all the time, it adds flavor to the dish. Okay. Got this glare over here. I don't know what this glare is about. Okay, let that sauté a couple of minutes. I think it needs a little bit more oil, so I'm going to add a little bit of the garlic oil. I like, um, I like to char my you know, to saute my onions and peppers a little bit before I put all the other stuff in. I just like it like that. I like to get that little sauteness, you know, out of, the, out of the stuff before I put all the sauces in and stuff. Okay, so now what I have here is I have my family, you know, big eaters, so I have to put a lot of chopped meat in. So I have 80-20, and this is like two and a half pounds, so I'm gonna put this whole package in. Okay, I'm going to first season with a little salt on the peppers and a little pepper because we want a little flavor in here. I'm going to put the taco seasoning in anyway, too, but, you know, you always have to have a lot of flavor. And this thing is a little crooked, but that's okay. We'll fix it. Okay. All right. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Really? Did you guys see that? I saw that. The whole thing of garlic just went in because the little whole thing is gone. The little holes are gone. Ah, oh, really? Well, I'll get out as much as I can, guys. I don't want to lose all the peppers and onions, so I'm not going to take out. I'm just going to try to get the powder. Did you see that? See, that's what happens in the kitchen sometimes. Things like that happen, you know, you move on. I think it'll be okay. I mean, there's a lot of garlic, but it's just going to be a garlicky pot, a garlicky taco, guys. That's all. I'm going to put the little peppers back in. Just take the... See, this is real life, guys. This is what happens. This isn't all staged and, you know, um, Food Network staged. It's not. All real, okay. All real. I, I don't think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be fine. I don't think it'll be too garlic. I got a lot out. I got a lot out. <laughs> That's life. See all that garlic. I got a little onions in here too. I'll take some of the onions out. All right. So that's done. Little gar little extra garlic won't wouldn't hurt anybody. All right. Give it a good mix. I think it's going to be really, really good. Let's get this two and, two and a quarter pounds in here. Okay, I'm going to do, i got one package, two and a quarter, and this one is a pound and a half. So this one, I'm going to do half of this one because we like a lot of meat. Okay, and the other half of this meat, a lot nice and fresh from the food shop, right? The food store, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but no. 
I'm not sponsoring ShopRite, but hats off for ShopRite. <laughs> they got good shop meat over there. All right, put that over there. Now, I think that's good. I don't know, maybe I'll add just a little bit more. So it's probably about three pounds of meat. Three pounds of chop meat. Three pounds of chop meat. Give me one second. So what I'm going to use is my little chopper crusher thingy and just get in there and chop it up and really. Now, I don't want it to be like little tiny pieces. I want little pretty, you know, little pieces like, let's say maybe I'll show you, maybe like this. Little chunks like that. This way, when you're eating the chili, I'm going to hide the flame a little bit. When you're eating the chili, you actually taste the meat. You know, I don't like the meat to be like disappeared. You know, you want to you want to taste the meat and feel the meat in your mouth. That's just the way I am. You know, I that's the way I am. I know. Okay, so just sit here and get it to the consistency that you want, guys. You can have your hubby do this if you wanna don't want to work out. But you just get in here and chop it up. So yeah, this is a quick meal. This is gonna be good. Now that the warm weather's coming too. Chilies and soups and, um, I don't know, warm fuzzy hot, um, hot um, crock pot meals and, and all of that. So yummy. Okay, so I got that chopping a little bit. Chopped up a little bit. Now I'm just gonna mix it. I'm using my, um, my good old Dutch oven right here, I love this thing. Love it, because it has the top, and it goes in the oven if you want to keep it warm. You know, you know the Dutch ovens are so great like that. Now this is gonna take a few minutes for this meat to brown, but that's okay. We got time. We got time, guys. Okay, I'm just doing this with my spoon a little bit. Okay, now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain probably a little bit of the grease out. Now, I was just, I did my other video, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I was doing it on hacks and stuff that, um, that I have um, like info that I, that little tricks in the kitchen. Well, I, I have this trick, sorry. This trick that somebody, um, one of the um, YouTubers had showed me, had showed me, had showed us on YouTube, <laughs> this thing, um, how we put the paper towels in the, in the like pot with the grease and it ga gathers up all the grease. For this, I'm not gonna do that because this is really hot and it's still, there's a lot of meat in there. So for something little, you can do that. But for this, I'm not gonna do that. This I'm gonna actually put in a strainer because there's a whole, whole bunch of grease in here that I want to get out. Now leave some grease because that's where the flavor is. Like you have to definitely leave some grease because the flavor is all in the grease. Not all in the grease, but you know, you need a little bit of grease, guys. So what I'm gonna do is while this is getting brown, okay, just give it a couple of stirs. And you know me, I always, I'm not putting any more garlic in. <laughs> no more garlic for this for this meal. We got enough already. No garlic. A little bit of salt. You gotta. You have to um, season your meat, guys. Okay. A little bit of pepper. And just a drop of, olive, of onion powder. Cause because I'm gonna put the seasoning, the taco seasoning in, in a few minutes. All right. So give this a couple of. You know, this is um, gonna give off a lot of fat because it's 80-20, but 80-20, in my opinion, is the best. I mean, it's a, every time, you know, I buy the other meat, I just am not so happy with it. The 80-20 is where it's at. If you want flavoring your meat and, you know, juicy and all that, go 80-20. That's just me. But, you know, if you're watching your weight, if you're, you need to do lean or whatever, be all, by all means, guys, you do what you need to do for you. You adapt the recipe for yourself and how you want it to taste and you like it. Okay? All right. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my strainer, my strainer. I'm going to give me one second. I'm going to drain this a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to drain most of the grease. This, this pan is so heavy. This pot is so heavy. Okay. I'll be right there, guys. Talk some amongst yourselves, like I always say. Talk some amongst yourselves. Alright, most of the grease is out, like I said, there is, there is still some grease in there, and that's what you want, okay, okay, now it has to cook just a couple more minutes because it's still, eh, garlic overboard, the empty, the empty bottle that went all in my, all in my chili. I'm so curious to how it's going to taste if it's going to be really garlicky. Oh, well. We're all going to have some garlic breath tonight, but that's okay, right? It'll be good, I'm sure. Okay, so that's starting to cook. Now what I'm going to do, finishing the cook, I'm going to put chili. Now you can do chili packets. You can do mild. You can do original. You can do hot. They got all kinds of flavors. Mine is just original because everybody does not like hot. Only me and my son. And so majority rules and there's more of them than us. So I gotta do what I gotta do. We can add to our pot. We can add to our bowls. Okay, so I'm gonna add one package. I'm gonna say I might add one and a half. You gotta have, you know, and if you don't wanna use the chili packets, if you wanna control your sodium or whatever, use chili powder, use cumin, use, you know, all different kind of like those kind of, um, those kind of seasonings, you can make it yourself, guys. You don't have to use the packets. And honestly, most times, I don't use the packets. I have like the taco seasoning that I make. Uh, you know, sometimes I'll use the packets, sometimes I won't. But you don't have to use it. Nothing is written in stone. You don't have to use the packets if you don't want to. Okay? Give this a good mix. Ooh, it's coming so nice. Mmm. Mm, the smell, guys, is so good. There's a lot of meat here, so I think I'm going to put in the, the rest of the other one. Get rid of this mess here. All right. Get this mixed up. Now, that's looking so good, guys. Looking so good. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? All right, so now I'm going to add my other stuff. Now. I'm going to add some crushed tomatoes. Now you can use tomato sauce or crushed tomatoes. I was running short on crushed tomatoes, so I had this in there, which I've heard, uh, I know I've used it, it's for pizza, it's pizza sauce, it's amazing. And I'm going to, so I put that in there, because I didn't have um, a big, I only had one big can of crushed tomatoes. So I'm going to put another can of crushed tomatoes. I live by Tutti Russo, and I know I don't sponsor them, or they're not sponsored by this video, or whatever, but this is what I like to use. I use for everything is Tutti Russo. Okay, this is crushed. Now, I only had another can of peeled plum tomatoes, so I, so I um, chopped this up in my chopper. I blended it up in there because I needed more sauce, so I'm going to add that. Okay, you do how much you do for your family, how much you want to do for your family. You don't have to you know, do as much as I do, you don't have to do as little as I do. Now, these right here, I have a little bit more tomatoes, whole tomatoes that are left in there, so I'm going to use that too, because I'm not going to let that go to waste, guys. Okay, I'm going to put it in my little chopper here. I just love making a mess. Can you guys see me? See me over here. This is near, this thing is near on my is it? No. It won't work if it's not on right. 
There we go. All right, a little noisy for a second. That's it, that's why I love this chopper. So convenient, guys. So great. All right, so the tomato sauce is in, okay? Like I said, whatever you use on, you have, use on, whatever you have on hand, leftover of Sunday gravy, leftover Sunday sauce, whatever you have, and make it as soupy or as thick as you want. If you like it to be more meaty, don't put as much sauce in. If you like it to more, be more saucy, put more sauce in. It's all to your liking. Now, I don't believe in wasting anything, so I'm gonna rip, put some water in these cans. That's what I always do when I make my gravy, my Sunday gravy. I add a little water and add it to the pot because there's gravy in here. There's a little bit of sauce in here. So I just do a couple of rounds of water in the can to get all that up. Add them, okay, clear. Another tip is, guys, when you use, when you use these cans and you're still cooking and you wanna keep your spoon somewhere, put the spoon right in the little, the can. See that? It's like a little holder. It's really, really convenient. Okay, got that, I got a couple more. I got this can I'm gonna do also, see? Okay, and I have this little thing, the shopper with the regular, with the rest of the, the sauce, okay? I also like to put in some chopped tomatoes in mine because I like the little pieces. And this is Rotel. This is original. You can get hot, you can get uh, the, the, the really spicy ones. I like just the original. So can of diced tomatoes. Give that a mix. I love diced tomatoes in my chili, guys. Love it. All right, let's do that. And I'm gonna put in almost a whole can of kidney beans. The majority of the people in my house don't like the beans, but I like them. A couple other people in my house like them. And I never used to put beans in my chili because I'm always worried about the kids and this and that. But you know what? I want beans in my chili. I like beans. So there you go. <laughs> All right, so I got everything in here, guys. The seasonings, the, the um, I got the seasonings in here. I got the um, the meat, all the talk, all the, the the chili mix, um, all the chili mix. This tripod is not cooperating today. The sauce, everything is all ready to go. I'm gonna put the cover on this and let it like let it like simmer probably for about about 45 to 35, 40 minutes. I'm gonna put it on, but I'm really very curious to taste it to see if it tastes garlicky. Because my family, they're paying the butts. Let's see. It definitely has garlicky taste, but it's certainly not over the top. It really happens to be perfect. The one thing it does need is more salt. I'm gonna put a little bit more salt and then everybody can salt to their own taste, okay? Not spicy at all. But I think what I'm gonna do, guys, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of chili powder to it. I just think chili powder is something separate from um, the chili seasoning. And this is regular chili powder. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. And then whoever wants to add cayenne or whatever to their chili with me and my son, we can do that. So there you go, guys. This is gonna be amazing. So this is what's for dinner tonight. Chili, and I have chips, and we put cheese on top and onions, it's delicious. Sorry, my phone's beeping over there. One second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, so um, we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, when it's done, I'm gonna plate it up. We, we put shredded cheese on it, some sour cream. You could put jalapenos in it. 
I have, I bought chips, um, you can put uh, tortillas, dip tortillas in it, you can have it later on on hot dogs. So, so good guys. Try this recipe, it's really good. Chili is like really you make your own, your own concoction to me. Chili is what you make it. You want to put it, make it hot, you make it hot. You want to put beans, put beans. You don't want beans, you don't want beans. You don't want pepper, you know the way it is. You can do whatever you want with chili. So this is like my own recipe. And this is what's for dinner tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.